Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovering science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. about the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race. Every March, the excitement of the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race grips Alaska. The annual dog sled race covers about 1,100 miles between the cities of Anchorage and Nome, Alaska. A short race of about 25 miles was organized in 1967 as part of the centennial celebration of the Alaska Purchase and evolved on March 3, 1973 into the current race. The term Iditarod was derived from the Athabascan word Iditarod, which means far distant place. The Iditarod Trail, now a National Historic Trail since 1978, had its beginnings as a mail and supply route. In 1925, part of the Iditarod Trail became a life-saving highway for epidemic stricken Nome. Diphtheria threatened, the serum had to be brought in, sled dogs ran in relays to deliver the supply of, of antitoxin to Nome. This serum run to Nome became known as the Great Race of Mercy. The Iditarod Trail is composed of two routes, the longer northern route, which is run on even-numbered years, and the southern route, which is run on odd-numbered years. Both follow the trail from Anchorage to Ophir, but diverge from there and meet again at Caltag. This way, more of the small towns in the middle of the state get to participate in the action and benefit from a bump in visitors. The Iditarod crosses two mountain ranges, the Alaska and the Kuskokwim ranges, runs along the Yukon River for 150 miles, and crosses frozen waterways, including the pack ice of Norton Sound. Its sled teams face cold temperatures and blowing snow. The greatest challenge of the Iditarod is putting together a team of 12 to 16 dogs and a musher capable of overcoming all the obstacles and unexpected problems that present themselves along the course. In its early years, the race was a 20-day event, but today most teams finish in less than 10 days. In 2017, Mitch Seavey broke all previous records by finishing in 8 days, 3 hours, 40 minutes, and 13 seconds, which currently stands as the fastest winning time for the Iditarod. The race can attract more than 100 participants and their teams of dogs. Each sled is pulled by 12 to 16 dogs. The person driving the sled is called a musher. In order to qualify for the Iditarod race, mushers are required to first participate in three smaller races. Some of the most common breeds of sled dogs are Alaskan Husky, or Indian Dogs, Alaskan Malamute, Canadian Eskimo, Chinook, Samoyed, and Siberian Husky. An Iditarod team goes into training in October and works hard right up until race time in March. Part of sled dog training involves teaching them a set of standard commands. Hike, let's go, get moving, haw, turn left, gee, turn right, on by, pass another team, or pay that distraction no mind, easy, slow down, whoa, stop. A few weeks before the race, drivers put together their drops, burlap bags stuffed full of dog food, booties, extra socks, batteries, candy bars, and trail dinners. These are flown to the checkpoints along the trail and dropped from bush planes. Each driver must sign in and out of each checkpoint. Failure to do so means disqualification. The northern route has 23 checkpoints and the southern route has 24 checkpoints. Each driver must have an axe, enough booties for each dog, enough food for himself and the team, snowshoes, a parka, and an arctic sleeping bag. The real heroes of the Iditarod are the lead dogs. A good leader can feel the trail with the pads of her feet. She takes her commands immediately, but in a crunch she will do the right thing even when her driver is yelling at her to do the opposite. Today's Iditarod Trail race commemorates both the Serum Run and Alaska's Frontier Past, and it is patterned after the famed All-Alaska Sweepstakes race between Nome and Candle that began in 1908. Joe Reddington, who is best known as the father of the Iditarod Trail sled dog race, gives two reasons for organizing the long-distance Iditarod race. To save the sled dog culture and Alaskan Huskies, which were being phased out of existence due to the introduction of snowmobiles in Alaska, and to preserve the historical Iditarod Trail between Seward and Nome. These reasons were his life's work. 2020 race gets underway at 10 a.m. on Saturday, March 7, 2020. Follow the action at Iditarod.com. Thanks for watching this Adventurous Kids episode. What did you learn today? Adventurous Kids. Adventurous Kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. Adventurous, Adventurous kids.